guys, welcome back. Today we are in Eindhoven. We came from Dusseldorf yesterday from our six hour day. Legs are feeling all right, not too bad. We're gonna head into the city, have a look around there today, and then head to Breda this evening. Look who's come to say goodbye. Hello. Hello. Oh, 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 oh. What are you doing, Lewis? Lewis has put his sun cream on. Is it not rubbed in? you got a bit on your nose. Charlie, yeah. you put sun cream on yet? Not yet. Sun's looking a little bit worse for wear. We've had a lot of rainy days. But today, the f weather forecast is sun. So we're going to have a nice sunny day, but we need to make sure we get to bring lots of water. So, we're all set and ready to go again. So mechanic Ben is back on the job. Ben, what's happened? Um, well, Lewis's bike was starting to make a really loud clicking noise. Um, so I made him stop. I just rode it and I found out that all the back spokes, I don't know how this has happened, all the back spokes have come really loose. They should be really, really tight. Um, and because they're going loose, that means the wheel could like collapse at any point. So I'm having to use a spanner to go around each and in individual spoke to tighten it back up again. One hour later. The wheel's a bit buckled, but I can't really do much about that now. Um, and unfortunately, because it took us so long, we're not going to be able to head into Eindhoven anymore. We're going to have to go straight to Breda. Goodbye, Eindhoven! Here you go, sir. Five chili chickens. Hey! Four burgers later, we're getting back on the road. We're currently in Tilburg, which is quite a nice city from what we've seen so far. We're going to be now heading to our accommodation, which is an hour and 20 minutes away, in a place called Breda. Look at this, that's so lovely. Here is one of our rooms. I think Charlie's gonna stay in this one. And this is the other room. Very nice. This is the view of outside, it's quite nice. Um, and we're just about to do some editing and then head out again, get some food. Down the stairs. Stairs are so steep. Oh, legs hurt a little bit. This is the most beautiful room in the house, in my opinion. This is the dining area. Check out this table. Again, looks handmade. Dad, if you're watching, this is your next project. A table for the kitchen. 12 seconds later. We're just popping out to get some food. It's only five minutes down the road, so I haven't worn my helmet. Sorry, Mum. Lewis is pretty hungry. He's getting a bit hangry, bless him. <laughs> this place looks nice. We might pop into a restaurant, even. 
I think we want to just go cheap and stay with the supermarket though if we can. Any supermarket? Yeah. Jumbo. Jumbo apparently is a food supermarket. Let's get there. It looks fancy. It's definitely like the equivalent of a Waitrose. Look how bloody fancy this place is. These things are to die for. You put that on the floor. <laughs> Lewis couldn't even wait till we got home. No! <laughs> you fuck! <laughs> you asked for it. Where did all the sausages go? <laughs> Unsubscribe to Ben. <laughs> Check out this for a dinner. We've got some chicken kebabs, some paprika lays, and some donuts. And I'm eating them all at the same time. Oh, so that brings our evening to an end in Breda. We made it here today. It wasn't too too difficult of a cycle today. Obviously, Lewis's bike was a bit of a scare, but we got through it. Another hurdle overcame. Tomorrow we're heading from Breda to um, Rotterdam, which is another major city in the Netherlands, so that'll be fun. Going to Rotterdam for the evening, um, and we should be able to go into the city actually and have a look around because the next day we've only got to cycle an hour or so to um, the port to get the ferry. And that is all we got for today. Thank you for watching again. We still um, trying to raise a little bit more money for our charity Bikes to Africa. If you haven't, um, I'd I can I'd love to encourage you to donate even ten pounds. That would go a long way, and it would mean a lot to us. So thank you, and good night. <laughs>